What's going on toy fans? Aaron here at Empire Toys 1138 and on this video we are going to be going through an awesome toy haul. Okay guys, before we go into the toy haul I'd just like to apologise for my absence of late. Sorry that I haven't been putting out much videos but in all honesty not much has been going on and that's just generally the reason why. We've been doing the live streams, the Toy Division live streams, we've been doing that, but apart from that, there's just been nothing really happening, which should end next week, as next weekend, the car boot sales open, and I'm going to a toy fair, on a toy hunt, so absolutely buzzing for that, can't wait for it, so next week is gonna be an awesome one, which we should have quite a few videos to start pumping out. And the world, well, the UK is finally opening up now, so hopefully that will mean a few more events and uh, shops and all that sort of stuff to start checking out which is awesome very very excited about that but we will still be doing the live streams as we've been doing all week so uh, toy division will still be happening on a wednesday night fingers crossed work allows us basically yeah so guys you're here for a toy haul and uh, i'm going to give you a nice one so i've ordered so I have ordered from uh, In Demand Toys, which I've uh, done previously. You've probably seen me shout them out a few times. And as you can see, they normally send this nice little uh, card here, flyer to uh, show off. And it changes every now and again. So uh, that's the new one that's just turned up, which is cool. So thank you very much, In Demand Toys. So first off, I have got Bo-Katan. Absolutely buzzing for that really really been looking forward to her coming out so um straight away pre-ordered her without a hesitation and uh after the hasbro pulse fan fest i pre-ordered uh sasha banks's mandalorian character so i've got her hopefully coming up uh the only other one is uh the the guy the, who was in the episode the three mandalorians you had bogotan sasha banks and the the dude Hopefully they bring him out as well, but absolutely buzzing for that. I think they've done a really good job with this figure. And uh, yeah, happy days. Let's see what she looks like out of packaging. So there she is, out of packaging, looking absolutely, let's do the YouTube thing, I've put my hand there. Looks absolutely awesome. I thought they've done a really good design on her. Normally the face sculpts leave much to be desired. Arms are, shoulders are loose, but the uh, elbows are tight. Knees are good. So very, very happy with that, and she looks awesome. Also, as he comes with the owl-designed helmet there, which uh, let's try and get it on. Yeah, there's a nice bit of giving it, which sets her on. Happy with that, and then also what I like about her is a little vise of it just pops down that's cool comes with the two pistols so you one there Ooh. and then the other one both generic very similar uh, again they seem to not be I'm just gonna stick the pistols in the holster there they're not seem to give any of these mandalorians the rifle that they had in the clone wars which is a bit annoying because it would be nice to have different style mandalorian gun for them but not the end of the world so yeah very very happy with that and can't say no to a mandalorian figure i also got the archived uh, hover tank pilot now i already had one of these but i really wanted a second one and didn't want to pay the secondary market prices so very, very happy i got uh they reissued it on the archive uh collection which is awesome i am going to bust this guy open as well but i'm gonna wait and get myself a nice sharp knife because i want to try and cut it out uh, it's the only thing that um, I don't like about this packaging is that once you opened it it's opened do you know what I mean it's not like the Boca Tarn figure that you just nip the plastic nice box but I do like I know they have to make it different don't they so yeah very 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 happy with him I think he looks awesome and that will look great on the toy photography I also got the Shore Trooper. Now this one I am absolutely buzzing about because again this is the one that I missed out of when it came out in the normal packaging. Again I did not want to pay secondary market prices for him. It's ridiculous. I got one, Vic's got one as well. 
which is awesome so um means that we can sort of double up for the toy photography which is great but look at that he just looked awesome uh the shore trooper armor is probably one of my favorite sort of armor that they designed outside of the um original stormtrooper outfit i think this and the biker scout are probably the two best armors that they've designed absolutely love it and again it comes on this 50th anniversary packaging same with the hover tank pilot i don't think i showed it but it's got a nice little timeline here of the star wars franchise amazing stuff so yeah very very happy with that again i'm going to bust this guy open but i'm going to get a nice sharp knife to do it because uh i'll try and keep the packaging as nicely as possible so very very happy with that so thank you very much in demand toys now I showed this bad boy off in the live stream that I did on Toy Division, but I got this off the Kapow Toys sale that they had. So I got four loom. So um, very happy with that. I'm trying to get all the bounty hunters. I've left it too late, typical me. So, but the only one I, I need to get Zuckus, uh, Dangar to complete the set. I've got plenty of Boba Fett boxed, but I don't have one that's going to be loose. So um, I'm thinking of getting a Boba Fett loose as well. I'm probably thinking I might get the deluxe version uh, at a later date because it comes with all those cool accessories. But at the moment, very, very happy with that. I, th I think that costs something ridiculous, like £14 or something uh, from Kapow, which was a very, very good price. So yeah, very happy with that. Happy days. Let's see what he looks like opened up. So there we go. There is four loom out of his package in there. Again, I'll do the nice little typical YouTube thing. He does look awesome. I used to love this figure having like the 90s Kenner one. I don't know why, it's just, he just looks so, I think it's because he's got like the C3PO style body with this kind of weird bug head thing on it. I just think it just looks cool. Very uh, typically unique Star Wars. Uh, I did actually say when I said my, man, uh, my bounty hunter figures, I do have uh, Bosk as well, which is cool. And he comes with that awesome big rifle there. which I don't know how well. No, oh, it actually holds it pretty well there. So there we go. Loom 4, ready to hunt some bounties. And it will look great on the toy photography. So very happy to pick him up for a great price. And he actually has got some quite decent movability in him. Like he's very sturdy, good figure. Very happy with that. Happy days, awesome. Also, if you were on our live streams and everything, you would have seen that I picked up a G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes. I busted him out the other day, opened him up. I just wanna say that this figure is such a cool figure. I love, like he's got some great articulation in him there. He'll look great for some uh, toy photography. Again, it comes with so many cool accessories. He's just such a badass figure. There he is, nice and close there. Happy days. I just wanted to show him off because he was opened up and he looked really cool. You know. Yeah. So awesome. Happy. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys, for watching the video. Um, again, like I said at the beginning, I'm going to get very much back into making weekly content. Now things are open. Car boot sales. Be hitting them up hopefully twice a week. So there'll be two videos there. Uh, going to Toy Fair on Sunday next week as well. So uh, there'll be another video there. So again, like I said, the video should start coming back out a little bit more. And hopefully a lot of stuff that I've pre-ordered, like you're seeing now, should start slowly coming back out and being released so I can pay them off and show them off really, guys. So anyway, please, if you're still with us now, like the video. I really do appreciate it. It's, again, I keep saying all this youtube -y stuff, but it does really help the videos. The algorithm leave a comment below what your favorite figure is or just let me know what you're waiting for to turn up because i've been waiting for these for months so i'm happy that they've turned up but what are you still waiting for let me know below and if you haven't already i'd appreciate it if you do subscribe to the channel anyway guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you very very soon for another video peace